What's up, guys? Welcome back to Oda Treasure, another episode with me, Steven. In this video, I'm going to talk about a modern fragrance. I'm actually going to start a series of episodes about modern fragrances that I have that I haven't really tried yet. Some of them are sealed in the box. I haven't even opened them and smelled them yet. Some of them might be open, but I just haven't worn them around. They've been sitting around, some of them, for years, and I haven't tried them. So I'm going to open this box. There's about seven fragrances. I'm just going to do one fragrance per video, and it might take a year. It's kind of a mini project within a project. I usually cover discontinued vintage, rare and interesting fragrances on this channel because just that's what comes in the mail, and that's what I'm interested in buying online and in vintage shops when I go out and explore here in Japan where I live. But there are a lot of great deals online. I like buying a lot of those Middle Eastern clone fragrances, and I like buying and flipping, reselling fragrances here in Japan. So a lot of these cheap $20 fragrances that you get from companies like La Tafa or Armaf or Asasi and so forth, I buy them for like $20 on a website in USA. I get them here in Japan and I can sell them for like $50, $60, $70, $80 and just get some money back from all of the spending that I'm doing on this hobby. So a lot of times I've had a fragrance like one or two or three, even four times and I've never opened it. I've never smelled it because obviously you get the most money for stuff that is sealed, that is not open. This time I'm gonna open up and try these fragrances out. So this is the first video. Let's open up this box and let's see some of the fragrances that I'm going to sample in the, uh, in the coming year. All right, how many got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually there's eight fragrances I wanna take a look at. All right, here they are. So I have CR7 from Cristiano Ronaldo. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a fragrance that is inspired by Armani Stronger With You. Afna 9 p.m. This is inspired by Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramol. Shades Wood is an Armoff fragrance that is a typical rose oud combo. This is called Rasasi Shura. I heard this is a very strong, very masculine, modern Middle Eastern type fragrance. I was just intrigued by that description. And this one isn't your typical cheap 20 or $25. This one is actually $40, but I got a good deal on it. I think I paid like 30 bucks for this. Lasting Desire. This is a, a Zara fragrance that is a, a, it's a chocolatey fragrance. It's a fragrance that has cocoa in it. And then Insurrection Too Wild. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a very, very close smelling clone of Mugler's Angel Men Pure Havan. And there's another one I have here. There's one more that wasn't in the box that kind of fits in this category, and it's this one here. Incense Gold by Reefs. I had ordered a Creed Aventis clone, a Reefs Creed Aventis clone. I forgot what it's called. Can't remember what it's called. It was from a seller in India. I guess the guy didn't have it, but he put this in the box instead, Incense Gold. I looked on for a grant to go. There's no information on this. It's loose shaking around in the box. I never opened the sucker up and there was a YouTuber on the channel, If He Shares, I forgot his name. If He Shares, I mentioned him on the channel before. I was watching his videos like five or six years ago. He was one of the more prominent YouTubers in the fragrance community that was talking about these uh, Middle Eastern fragrances, the Armoffs and the Rasasis and so forth. And he mentioned this one, Incense Gold. And I said, hey, that's cool. I actually have that one. Never opened it up. So I'm gonna try these out. Each one, I'll just make an episode about it. And which one should I start with, guys? This one, Ancre Noir Sport. I have never tried Ancre Noir or any flanker yet, guys. My nose has not touched this, but I've heard all about it. I've heard that this is one of the best cheapies. It's almost like a the quality of a designer fragrance with a cheap $20 price. Guys, these aren't $20 anymore. I think they're at least $30. They're something like $30, $35. Uh, this is the only one I have left, and I haven't sold it yet. I'm going to open it up and finally try it. So this will be my maiden voyage with Ancre Noir with this line. Which one should I try first? I thought about it. I'm going to try this one first. I'm going to crack this one open and just tell you what I think about it. And this is one of the ones I'm talking about. I've had this like three. Maybe this is my fourth bottle of this thing that I've had. Never opened it up never tried it, and I just sold these for like $50 here in Japan. So this is your $20 to $25 price range. Arma Fragrance, this has been around since Club de Nuit Intense Man was popular. I remember seeing this in 
2017, 2018, and I can't wait to try this one out. All right, let's open the sucker up. And you know, a lot of YouTubers have like some kind of fancy razor or knife that they open up. I just have these cheesy uh, kindergarten looking scissors here because I don't care. Don't give a shit. Now, should I open this up carefully or should I just tear this? You know what? I'm just going to tear this thing open because I don't give a shit. There we go. All right. If I do resell this thing, you just need the box. You don't need the plastic wrap. Sterling Fragrances is the, uh, the parent company that owns Armoff, this brand. I've since tried a lot of fragrances like this, that familiar, as I call it, the familiar rose oud combo. I have one on the channel called Gucci Guilty Oud, which is actually really nice from uh, Alberto Marias. And Ferrari Essence Oud, I have a video for that. That one is beautiful. I wish I had that here so I can compare it, but don't have that one here. So as typical with these uh, fragrances from the Middle East, the bottle just rattles around inside a poorly packaged cardboard box, or should I say poorly padded cardboard box. Let's take a look at the bottle. You know what? I think this bottle is fine. I see some complaints in the, uh, in the reviews about the bottle. I mean, the print is kind of cheesy. Look at how it's just printed on there, like low quality uh, printing, but who cares? The bottle looks kind of nice. It's a little worn right there from rattling around in the box. Let's look at the bottom of this thing. Batch number 344392. It's 100 ml. Manufactured December 2021. Expires December 2026. 80% alcohol volume. Made in France. I kind of like these uh, wooden accents. It just kind of reminds me of something that you would see in a car like in a Jaguar or something that has that glossy wood where you uh, where the shifter is. All right, here's the initial spray, years in the making. All right. Oops. First impression is, yes, I do like this. I smell a sweetness to this. And that is probably the rose in this. I should read you off the ingredients before I go any further. The notes in this fragrance, the top notes, rose, geranium, and citruses. The middle notes, you have cloves, cumin, and pepper. And in the base notes, you have argarwood, sandalwood, and cedar. And for any of you guys out there that don't know much about oud, or you've heard this thing called oud and you don't know what it means, oud is basically a woody scent. It comes from somewhere in the Middle East. They have trees that the trees emit some kind of a sap. There's like a parasite that's eating at the bark of the trees and it emits a sap and the sap dries and it's like a sour woody scent that has to be extracted and it's actually quite expensive for real oud. So a lot of the expensive fragrances that have oud have real oud and fragrances like this that are $20 or $25 have a synthetic oud, but I don't mind as long as it smells nice. And I'm just gonna say off the bat, I like this one. You smell the rose, you smell the oud. I don't think it's really that off-putting. Is it high quality? No, it's not high quality, but it doesn't smell bad. Can you tell that this is not a niche fragrance? Of course you can tell it's not a niche fragrance, but for 20 to $25, what these go for, this is fine. I do have something to compare this to that is on my shelf right here, and that's this one. This is a Frank Oliver or Frank Olivier Oud Vanille, and this is actually really good. This is another one that's like $20 or in the uh, $20 to $25 price range. And this one is a little bit sweeter. This one has, of course, vanilla and maybe some caramel, uh, other notes that kind of uh, heighten up the sweetness with this one. And the performance is excellent. My girlfriend actually uh, sniffed this and said that it's pretty good. So if it's girlfriend approved, it's pretty good. This is listed as a fresh spicy rose on Fragrantica. It's rated 3.93, so it's under a four. And what's interesting now, now that I'm comparing both of these, I'm smelling each hand. This is the uh, Oud Vanille and this is the uh, Shades Wood. There's something funky about the Oud Vanille that I really didn't notice before, but now that I'm smelling them together, this one seems smoother, this one seems less intense than the Oud Vanille, and I love this one. So it's kind of interesting. 
This one seems like it's more work safe or just generally more, I don't know, just desirable to a general audience. Yeah, because the Oud Vanille is a little bit funkier, it makes me feel like it's a higher quality or maybe a more realistic Oud. Because people, a lot of people say that Oud smells like crap, like literally like poop, because it's this sour, woody scent. But I don't get that. I, my nose is already attuned to Oud, and I like Oud. So this one is a light for me. I like this one. I think this is a, uh, a worthy buy. It's a cheap blind buy. It's not that bad. If you buy this and you try it and you don't like it, there's nothing wrong with just giving it away to someone. You're not going to lose that much money. The only thing you have to remember with this fragrance and with all these Middle Eastern fragrances is this is going to change over time. This bottle needs some time to mature or macerate and the juice inside will probably change, maybe get a little bit denser. So a month from now, I'll spray this around a little bit and probably a month from now, it might smell different. I wonder what it'll smell like. Hey guys, coming into the video real quick, Stephen from the future. I've worn this around for about a week now and I don't know how well it has matured or macerated in this bottle. It's only been about two weeks. This is great. Uh, this is good stuff. For only $20, if any of you guys out there are wondering what Oud is all about, you keep hearing Oud in these fragrance videos or online, this is a good beginner's Oud fragrance because it has the woody notes and that soft rose to uh, to soften it out. So for 20 bucks, I definitely recommend this as a blind buy if any of you guys just wanna try out a Middle Eastern type Oud fragrance or the typical Oud rose combo that they have online. There's this one, and then I also recommend either this one or this one. This is Kaed from Latafa, and this is another good entry level Oud fragrance. I recommend guys, this is another one that's just $20. 20 bucks, 20 bucks, don't pay any more than $25 for these. This one is very similar to this, but this one has a little bit more to it. It doesn't have that rose. It's a little bit spicier with the woods and with the oud, but this one has a little bit more rose with the oud. Uh, both of these are not very strong. The performance is just all right. Just about four hours I get with both of these. This one's been sitting around for about two years. The same thing, it's good for about four, maybe six hours if you're lucky but for 20 bucks, you can do a lot worse. So I recommend uh, both of these. If you had to get one, I would probably get this one, but if you like that soft rose, I actually do like rose, I would get this one. So let's go back to the video. You wonder what it'll smell like, but that's it for this video. Don't want it to run too long here. Give me a thumbs up if you like my discovery video of this fragrance, Armoth Shades Wood Eau de Parfum. I think these used to say Eau de Toilette and they changed it to Eau de Parfum. Leave a comment down below if you have any comments or any thoughts or you just want to talk about our moth shades wood what do you think of this one have you tried it do you guys like it any comments on this one frank olivier oud vanille i'd love to buy a backup bottle of this one and subscribe if you haven't already if you're interested in this fragrance discovery that i do on my channel these are modern fragrances i usually cover discontinued rare vintage interesting fragrances and you can see in the video tabs what i have thanks for watching guys i always appreciate it and stay tuned for the next video and until then Take care.